All right, now that we have gone through the main features of the visual, let's go through the initial setup. For that, let's first go through the sample report. So like I said before, you can download the sample report down in the description below. And remember, it's already going to have all the data and visuals necessary, so you can follow me through the course and actually follow what I'm doing. So whenever you're talking about the time series visual, you're talking about two fields that the visual supports. That is going to be the date field and the series field. To demonstrate this, let's go to the training view and actually create an instance of the time series. So we're going to add the time series visual right here. We're going to resize it. And we're going to also disable the background and title because we're not going to be using those. Now, when we go back to the fields list, you can see we have a date field and we have 12 series. The date field accepts a singular column, which is a regular date column. It does not support date hierarchy. The main reason for that is because we are working also with different custom time periods, things like half an hour, hour, 15 minutes, and even seconds. So the Power BI built-in hierarchy does not support these elements, which is the reason why you have to use a regular date field. The second element is going to be the series. Now, the series are just regular numerical values that you want to display on the visual. So for example, in order to activate the visual, what we're going to be doing is we're going to drag in payout as our series, and we're going to use new date as our date field. There you go. You created your first instance of the time series visual. And just to quickly showcase what I mean by date hierarchy not being supported, I'm going to click right here on the new date column, and I'm going to switch it to be a date hierarchy. As soon as I do that, you can see that it pops out an error messaging you and informing you that date hierarchies are not supported. So if I want to use the visual, I just simply transfer it back to use a regular date column. All right, that's going to be it for the initial setup of the time series visual, and I'll see you in the next video.